Hi, this is Craig from S5 Solutions, and today I want to show you how to use the proper Windows Close button in a LabVIEW program. This is an example LabVIEW program, the standard template for the user interface handler. And if we run this program, we see what looks like a lot of typical LabVIEW programs. You've got a normal Windows window with the controls up here, but that's not really what you use. You use buttons that you put on the screen and you hit a stop button to stop your program. I have always found that very strange and I like using the actual stop button instead of coming up with uh, a special button that's kind of a LabVIEW unique thing. We want to fit into the regular Windows user interface and use the standard controls that are already there. So let's look at how to use this little X Windows button in order to close a LabVIEW program. If we look at the block diagram here, we see that we've got a case, uh, an event structure that has a case in it for our stop button. This is the button that we hit for stopping. It's fine, it, it functions, but it's just not up to the window standard. So what we want to do is we want to look at the cases we have here. We've got two button handlers for the two buttons that are on the screen. We don't want to do that. In fact, let's just go ahead and completely delete this event case, get rid of that stop button completely. Well, now you see this is broken. We still need a way to tell our, uh, our app to stop. So we're going to right click on the event and we're going to add a new event case. And if we look, we see a couple of special cases up here, the application and the VI. The other ones are for the controls that are on the front panel. In this case, we're going to take an event that comes off of the VI and we're looking at the panel close query event. There's two of them, one with a question mark and one without. We want the one with the question mark. So let's go ahead and create that as a case. What we're going to do is this is when this event will get fired when you hit the close button. So we want to actually create our ability to shut the thing down when that is clicked. Now there's a little um, output here. By getting the, the question mark icon, we're getting the close event before it actually closes. So the question here that we're passing back to the call chain is, do we discard this message? And we want to create a constant for that and we actually do want to discard that message because we don't want Windows to handle the closing of the window. We want us to grab that message and use it to close the app. So set the discard to true, set the flow to true, and now when we run this, it looks more like a normal window. And when we click on this, it stops our program. And that's how you use the Windows close button to close a LabVIEW app. Thanks for listening.